Hey everyone, and welcome back to another video. Today I'm gonna to show you how to paint a magnolia flower. So let's do it. Okay, so to start, I'm just gonna go through my materials. I have my Arches watercolor paper, my Windsor and Newton Cotman watercolors, and I have my <laughs> Princeton snap brush. I have a size 12. Um, and I have my water, my paper towel, and we're ready to go. So I'm gonna be doing um, a magnolia branch. I love these trees. They are stunning in the spring. For the longest time, I thought those were cherry blossoms, but they're not. <laughs> Shows how much I know about watercolor, or not watercolor, uh, flowers. I'm learning, guys. Anyway, they're stunning. So they're white kind of on the outside, but then they have these like beautiful flecks of pink coming from the center of the petals which are awesome. So I'm gonna get my pink. I have my permanent rose color here and I'm just gonna do a very, very light, light wash. And I'm gonna start with an open face flower of one and then do a side view. So actually, no, I'll start with the open one. Yep, okay, focus. So I'm just gonna do a really light wash of this pink big petal there, petal going this way, they're kind of like wavy kind of petals. Maybe one shorter on the side. That. some behind okay so you want it really really light so it kind of looks like the outer bits are white and then you're gonna go in um, not right in the middle because you're gonna have a bit of yellow there for the center and you're just gonna tap the bottom of each of the petals and let them bleed out. Nice and bright. Like that, I actually might do another petal back here, not touching, giving some white space. Some over here too. Does not have to be perfect. back in. As it starts to spread, I'm just going to darken it up towards the middle. Maybe even there. Just like that. Okay. So I'm going to wait for that one to dry before I do any more. Actually, I might take a bit of gray and just bring some lines down really, really lightly. If it's still wet. Now you can see where it wasn't still wet. So right there and right there, it started to dry already. So that's why you see the lines on top. I'm just gonna re-wet that area, blend it into the pink a bit. See, I make mistakes all the time too go. Okay, now I'm going to do a side view. <clears throat> so I got my really, really light wash of pink, and then I'm going to do a petal up this way. Petal up this way. And then one in the middle. Kind of like the tulip, almost, but these are more pointed towards the ends. I'm gonna take my pink again, and right at the bottom, I'm just gonna tap that pink in there. 
Let me even actually have another petal kind of opening over here. And then at the bottom of these flowers, they have a bit of green. So I'm just gonna put that green and I'm gonna let it bleed into the pink just a bit of the ones that are opening. Like that. Um, I'm gonna do another one that's closed over here, a smaller one. pink too much pink on paint on that one now if you ever go back to tap it in just make sure it's still wet take my green for this side view one like that and then you are going to take I'm going to take a smaller brush and I'm going to create the branch part. Okay, so connecting to that green, the branches are kind of rough, with like even little pieces that stick out. So you're going to kind of have to go behind this flower. You can let it bleed into that if you want, just makes it look a bit more loose and abstract. branches are quite rigid they're not like one straight line I even have another one over here with a bud coming out I'll darken it up I'm going to take my green, just have a little buds like that. And then I want to make sure the middle of this is dry before I do it. So I'm just going to dry it with my heat tool, or you can wait for it to dry on its own. That's dry, and I just noticed this one didn't bleed out as much. So I'm just bringing some of that pink up some lines okay I'm now I'm gonna take my yellow color this is yellow ochre I'm just gonna kind of create a middle with dots like that you can even add a bit of orange in there darken up some spots or red or brown if that doesn't work <laughs> like that there's the middle and there are your magnolia flowers thank you guys so much for watching my video i really hope you liked it and i hope you learned something don't forget to subscribe to this channel and follow me on instagram for more have a great day guys bye